What's up, Scout Rider viewers out there? Just wanted to uh, make this video about this new airbrush that I got in. It's been about a week, I want to say. Um, I've been kind of holding off on the video just because I was waiting for some components to arrive uh, with it because I decided why not unbox and add on this uh, custom grip handle that I ordered. Uh, because when you get this brush, it does not come with that. And um, this right here, from what I've read, is that it makes it a lot more easier as far as how it feels on the control when you're using this airbrush here. This is one that I've been recommended from a couple friends. Um, one of them, Javier up north, that I met out in Redwood City out in March when I was taking a class. And... Um, also, my other friend, Willie Ramirez Jr., who's a scale model car artist, he uses this gun. He recommended this to me. So, uh, taking these guys' word for it, and, and you know, I've been kind of keeping my eye on this thing here. I decided, why not pull the trigger, purchase it, and uh, let's take a look at the back here. As you can see, it comes with two tips. And one of them gives you that fan pattern and the other one just gives you more of that round traditional pattern there um, this is the um, the HP TH Highline by Iwata as you can see here some other airbrush examples but anyway this is the cup it comes with later I'm going to upgrade it to a bigger cup just so I can have um, options as far as how much uh, paint I will be using. And um, so down here, this here I ordered it online through Amazon. This is the custom grip handle that will be attached to this brush, which will give me a better feel for it. And then this here will be my uh, adapter for the bottom for my quick disconnect. Um, I know I'm sorry, it's not Iwata. Um, since a, lo a while back, I had purchased the Grex. Um, it's like the Mac Valve Quick Disconnect Combo. And it's just like, I've been writing with that for so long. You know, and like I've said in previous videos that if, I mean, I can go out and buy all this stuff, but then it's just gonna be just wasting more money. What am I gonna do with these? You know, I don't wanna toss them. So um, I'm rocking with these for now, but let's see what happens down the road. Um, if if I'm able to obtain the Iwata ones. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this one up here. So we slide this out. Here you have the nice box. Um, I, I've already cut the, uh, the sticker there, all right? So don't think that this was open already. But anyway, here we have it. So we get the sticker. You put this on your uh, bumper of your car. No, I'm playing. Some instructions here, giving you a breakdown of the gun. Also, uh, just telling you all the parts. Look at that, that looks insane. All the, the names, the part numbers, just in case if something needs to be replaced. And there you see the handle, the option there to, to add on to your gun. Look at that, beautiful. So it comes with the lube. Uh, the second tip, the cup, and also a wrench that you will be needing. So let's take this out here, and here we go. So most of me, my attachments are going to be down here. So already by feeling it, it feels kind of empty down here, like there's nothing for me to grip onto. But I'm I'm sure I would get used to it, right? That would be fine. But since they do make this here why not get it and start off fresh getting used to it so let's go ahead and install this so you roll this out here they put it in this piece of this little baggy plastic just obviously so it won't get scratched so we uh, take off the bottom nut so I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video but I know that later um, I'm gonna end up this Taking it apart, re-putting apart because I wanna I need to put some Teflon tape, but I don't have any with me right now at the moment. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw this this thing on there. There we go. See, I'm not I'm not putting it on too tight because I know I'm gonna end up taking it off. So then the handle, we uh, slide that in there. So it, then it comes out of the hole right there. Now the the final piece is the the nut here that we're gonna put. All right, let me fix that there. Screw that on. So as you screw it in on. It's going to go all the way through, then it jumps, and then now you got to put it on the next part here. And um, you push the plastic forward. There we go. Right there. So, I mean, I could tighten it like crazy, but like I said, I'm going to take this thing apart. But anyway, this is the feel for it. It's, it's just a lot, a lot better right there. It fits perfect in the hand. Obviously, the cup is going to go up here. And, um, man... What can I say? Super excited to use this. There's the tip for the fan pattern. Uh, this is a gun that I'm gonna be using to pretty much lay down some base coats on my cars, even some candy jobs, um, pearls, just so I can get, you know, something even, a quote, an even coat hitting on there because um, with the fan pattern, from what I've heard, it's like a two to three inch wide pattern. And what do we have here? Check this out. This is gonna be my victim right here. Let me bring it up. I haven't posted any photos of this on Instagram. Um, I have been working on stuff. It's just, I've been, I don't know. I, I just haven't been po posting it at all. But this is one that I just been kind of messing with here, getting it all cleaned up, added the, the trim there around the car. So um, this, I'm gonna be using it on this. So if you think about it, watch, let me get, a, uh, where's my ruler? Okay, here we have it. So you see, there's one inch, two, three inch. Now let me put it next to the car, right there. So this car, I would say it's probably about two and a half inches estimating let's see maybe two and a quarter looks like anyway so if i'm using this airbrush and i'm i'm starting from the bottom moving my way up in these quotes you know um it's it's not like i'm just gonna blast it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go from one end to the other and i already know that i would say a majority it's already gonna be covered I go back, it's gonna have more coverage on there. And then finally, I could go another one and another one, and I'm pretty sure it's it's gonna be like done, right? Then I move on to the back, do the same here, repeat, repeat, flip it on over to the top, repeat, um, and then the, the, the bottom, and pretty much, it's pretty much set right there. Oh, here's the hood. I was like, where, where'd it go? Let me put that right there. Anyway, but there it is. Um, so this is the Iwata HPTH. I plan on using this pretty soon, hopefully this weekend. I'll let you guys know my thoughts after I've used it. So far, I'm pretty excited about it. And, um, and you know, this is the final piece that is gonna be attached to the bottom there. And then from there, I can just, you know, connect that to my hose and I'm ready to go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This is 65 Lokes checking out. We'll be back with more videos soon. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. All right. Peace.